Hey everyone, it's Nancy Taylor here and welcome, welcome to this workout series where we are working the deep core. So if you have had a baby within the year, within the last 30 years, whenever it was, this series is for you. If you are wanting to heal diastasis recti or you're unsure of how to get um, the healing of your, if you have a separation in your abs, and it can also be from other things that have been having babies. I'm going to take you through this series and I wanted to create this series because I had several moms asking me, what exercises can I do? What's safe for my core? When can I do crunches? When can I do plank? When should I know that? And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna create a series that will not only teach you, but give you the actual exercises that you can do every single night. Click on this playlist, I'll link it below, I'll link it in the iCard, grab the playlist every night, do the five exercises, and you can do that workout until you're ready to move on to the next one. You could do that workout for one day, you could do that workout for four days. It's up to you. Now, as your core starts to heal, you're going to see improvement in um, like when you're exercising and maybe jumping, jumping jacks, jump roping, jumping on the tramp, you won't have leakage, like you won't have to pee your pants, <laughs> if I wanna put it eloquently. <laughs> I also did a fake tanner, so I look like an Oompa Loompa. I'm gonna try this before I film a video. <laughs> If you didn't notice, it's not real. So just, just in case you were wondering. I'm going to show you today the ABCs and specifically for your core. So before you get into the actual exercises, listen, listen to this video. It is so important to understand the why behind. Because when we get into the exercises, you might be like, oh, it's breathing. It's like these simple like movements of my leg. Why in the world is this going to make a difference? And I'm going to tell you why. It truly does. As long as you are consistent to show up each day, do five minutes after your workout or at the, in the evening, first thing in the morning, whenever you have a scheduled time to do it, do it. Now, first of all, the A is assess. We can see where um, our gap is perhaps between in our abs. Now, if you recently had a baby or if you do have DR, diastasis recti, we avoid crunches, we avoid plank, so it's kind of hard to assess. If I'm on my back, we wanna avoid flexing, but for this, I'm just going to lift my head to see. Now, the gap, uh, an inch above my belly button, is maybe a finger, an inch below my belly button, I don't have a gap there. So just assess an inch above your belly button, an inch below. Now other than width, we needed to go depth. So how deep is that gap? That's where mine, I, can, I that's where I'm like, yep, there we are. So if I poke my finger, it goes pretty deep. And this is why I need to understand it probably goes to my, like past my first knuckle, almost to my second knuckle. That's a pretty deep, um, but I, it's improving so much because of deep core connection. B is about breathing. So first of all, let's go through your breathing. I'm going to inhale, fill my diaphragm, my belly. It's not a chest breath. Fill up and then I, as I exhale, I'm going to draw on my pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor looks like this. It is the undercarriage of your pelvis. So it's not just one small area, it's probably bigger than you would have assumed. And as you're drawing in, it's just not, um, a lot of times they'll say Kegel exercises is stopping the flow of urine. I want the entire pelvic floor pulling in and up. Now that's hard to see because it's inside your body. You can't see it. So I'm pulling in and up from the pelvic floor and then the transverse abdominals look like this. That's your corset, your corset muscles that are below, like they're underneath the six pack, this, the abs here, they're underneath. So as I pull in, I'm hugging in here. And sometimes as you're getting started in healing your core, you can hold those muscles in and that's okay. So inhale, exhale, draw in, pull in here. So I can feel it pull up, I can feel it hug. I can feel that connection. Do you remember how deep that finger went when I was kind of flexing here, how deep it went? You should be able to feel if the transverse abdominals are coming in, I can now feel those muscles. If I'm just flexing, I go pretty deep. Now I'm going to connect. Inhale, exhale, draw in. Transverse abdominals. I, my finger cannot go as deep. I can feel the actual muscle there. It's not just a gaping hole. I can feel 
those coming together. Yay! Now, again, I still will modify a year after having my baby, a year after. And I've learned with time that it takes time to heal and it takes consistency. It's not going to be, I did those exercises for one day, I'm great. It's consistency. Do them for a week, do them for two weeks, do them for four weeks, you will see improvement. So A is assess, B is breathing, letter C, let's connect. We're going to connect. So. Inhale, exhale, pull in, draw in here. Now we start with just simple exercises. You want to connect before you do an exercise. So it's just a leg drag and then I can release. So inhale, exhale, pull in and pull in and up, hug. And then I do, I connect and then I do the exercise. It's a light connection. It's not like, like flexing my abs. I can still breathe through it while I'm connected. I'll notice that if I release my pelvic floor, you can feel it kind of release and then you'll pull it back in. Now another way too to check and make sure that I am connected, you could sit down, you could sit on a pillow, you could sit on like a cushion and fill. So if I'm see seated, I inhale, exhale, draw in, hug. So I can feel it pull up. Another position that I could also do this connection is I could be here on all fours. I inhale, fill that belly. Exhale, pull in and hug. Inhale, exhale, pull up. Connected. Show you from the side. Inhale, exhale. Connected. Now that we know about the pelvic floor, we know about the transverse abdominals, and we know the importance of breathing, I wanna tell you two tricks that I've done to heal my core. Now, if your workout is five minutes, we're doing five minutes a day, how much more time is in your day? 23 hours and 55 minutes, is that right? <laughs> a lot more time. So being aware of your pelvic floor while I'm sitting in the car, while I'm like nursing my baby, I'm thinking of my pelvic floor, so I'm here, I would take 10 deep breaths and connect my, my pelvic floor. So inhale, exhale, draw in, and hug. I would do that during the day. Be aware of it. Something that I love to do while I'm driving, like you know, carpool pickup, I'll be driving and I'll have my arms on the steering wheel at 10 and two because I'm a good driver. <laughs> I'm not a good driver. So inhale, fill the belly, exhale, here, and then I would pull, like resistance, I would resist with my arms, pulling them apart on the steering wheel, okay? And I would do that for like 10, 10 times, so pull, and then I would release, and I would do it again. And now this time, I would push, so now I'm working the arm here. So anytime I'm extending a leg, an arm, I want to connect first. I'm so ready for impact, just kidding. We are not um, the test dummies. So working my arms while I'm connected. That is just a little tip for you, is it doesn't have to be a scheduled time, but yes, have a scheduled like time that you do it. But if I'm aware of it throughout the day and I'm connecting throughout the day and before I do other exercises, it's going to improve. Like I'm going to get better at it. Also, as we get into more workouts, we get into cardio, we get into strength training and it's kind of fast. You're like, how do I connect while I'm doing all this? Take the time to slow down, do these exercises, and then your body almost starts to naturally connect before it does the exercises. But you first have to train it. You have to be hyper aware, very mindful, and just intentional with your movements. I'm not just going through the movements. I will cue you in our workouts on connection before doing exercises. So I've got your back. Let's jump into the workouts. Let's get going. I hope that this was helpful for you to see why. Why in the world do we do this? I feel like there's such a need for it um, to understand our body so that we can work together with our body, not against it. Okay. Let's go! Bye!